you're out there, you're riding, you're having a good time and uh, taking in the, the outdoors. The fight isn't over. What's going on guys? This is Carl with the Racer Red Channel. I'm riding the 2020 SWM Super Dual T model. It is the 650 model. It's based off of the TE 630 2011 Husqvarna. And from what I hear, they fixed a lot of the known issues from the bike back then. Uh, one thing I do notice when riding this bike is how comfortable it is. And especially when standing up. When I stand up on this bike, the handlebars are right where I want them, which is very confidence inspiring. I really like the stance that this bike provides, both sitting and standing. It's a very good running engine for the most part, but overall, this bike just feels really nice. This is the T model, so it has a wide, wide ratio transmission. The T stands for touring. And as far as street capability, this thing is amazing. Uh, you can. It really has legs. The tire size on this is geared more towards street. I mean, you're not gonna be sore after riding this bike, that's for sure. And uh, I, I think it's a good combination of lightweight and street oriented, which you don't get very often. This is something that if I was gonna go on dirt roads and street highway, uh, but not single track. I would definitely like a setup similar to this one. Um, it does have a lot of high-end parts and it does have a mixture of parts that are, that are not high-end. So it does have Brembo brakes and the brakes work really good. It has a hydraulic clutch that also works really good. The fuel injection on this is Kaima, which is a Chinese brand. Fuel injection feels really good up through the rev range. This thing really revs real slow and long and has kind of a thumper feel, old style thumper feel to it, um, which there's nothing wrong with that at all. It, it kind of feels like a really fast version of my DRZ 400S. Um, I'll get into the exhaust on this thing. The stock exhaust is a, a dual exhaust, which is really heavy and uh, it gets really hot, which for a passenger is just a no-go. Um, back there, there's no way to get your legs away from it. And those exhaust pipes get really, really hot. Not only that, but they're really restrictive and heavy. So we went down to a single exhaust and put um, that on there, and that has helped a lot. Not so much with um, horsepower or how it runs, but it does make it louder, easier to hear what you're doing. And um, it definitely helps with passengers. It's definitely nice not to scorch your passenger out. The stance is nice. I mean, it's confidence inspiring. The, the handlebars, where the foot pegs are, the weight of the bike, it's very confidence inspiring and that kind of surprises me for a bike that is um, this type of setup because I ride a lot of real lightweight dual well a lot of lightweight dirt bikes and dual sports because this thing is geared more towards long distance travel the seat is very comfortable if you uh, told me to pick a bike right now for for long dis distance travel um, I would pick one of these most definitely if there were dealer support here local so yeah dealer support is kind of the situation that really deters me away from buying an SWM in general and this is actually my dad's bike he's letting me borrow it for the day one of the issues we've had with this bike with uh, well it's got 1700 miles on it now is the, there's a switch underneath the shifter and uh, it's like a rotary switch and with the kickstand down it's supposed to kill your bike if you try to put it in the first and drive away the problem is 
this bike was um, killing the bike when you put it in, uh, in first with the kickstand up. One thing that he really does like about this bike is that it rails. I mean, you can just go in the corners hard and uh, it feels planted. And I can feel what he's talking about. It has a good, stable feel to it, but not too stable. I feel a lot of bikes are uh, too stable because they're just, they have so much weight. This bike has a good combination of stability and a lightweight feel. The suspension's pretty stiff. You could loosen that up quite a bit. The suspension is made by a Taiwanese company called Fast Ace. I just think that there is some stiffness going on with the suspension, so you soften that up and I think that will uh, make your ride even more comfortable. It's not like you're going to be hitting anything real hard with this bike anyway, so you might as well soften it up a little bit. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. If you have any questions about the bike, be sure to leave it down in the comments below or if you want to add anything. Um, I don't know everything and in these formats, like when I'm just riding along here, obviously I'm not looking at information directly, so I might get some things wrong. Uh, be sure to, to correct me where, where possible if you know different and uh, catch you on the next video. Peace!